it be quite an old job to work for the Guinness World Records? What do you mean, like an old, old job? Odd job, sorry, an odd job. Odd job. Um, I think it would be uh, for me. I think the actual compilation of the of the records is the is the meat and potatoes, and it would be quite boring, I think. But I think the whole advertising the fact that you've done a book about it is... I don't think anyone's reading that annual anymore. It used to be an absolute staple no. of the old Christmas thing, didn't it? You used to get that. You used to get a Beano book yeah. um, and um, a, a big sort of um, sort of candy cane filled with jelly beans. Yeah, I used to always get... Um, or, or Wooly and the Bruins annuals. <laughs> well, it might, I couldn't read all Wooly because my mum and dad said that I'd speak wrong. <laughs> oh, really? I used to read them all the fucking, time. Bit fucking rich. I, <laughs> you know, uh, my fucking gutter old North, northeastern accent they gave me. A Guinness Book of World Records. And mm. um, I told you before that novelty sized dairy milk. Yeah, 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 huge. Oh, one of those little um, red vending machines with the tiny little ones, the little two penny. Oh, ones. that's cute, yeah. But the, here's my here's my point about the Guinness World Records thing, right? Mm. I just think they're either too specific as to be irrelevant. Yes. To the point where anyone could do it. You know, you know, the world record for lying in a bath of baked beans while reading so and so would sink on the telly, and it's a November, mm. right? Anyone can get that record. And the ones that are properly mainstream, most people can't know about anyway. Yeah, and 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 also, I mean, they'd love a a, a photograph, um, a photo op with um, like Lionel Messi for winning the Ballon d'Or a record amount of times. But he's not bothered, but, is he? But he's not bothered. That's not that's not not on his radar unless he unless he also got a copy of the Bruins annual um, every single. He would be able to He can't even speak English, I think. <laughs> I wonder what like it'd be quite a nice little because we are heading towards Christmas. What the staples were that you would get every year, yeah. um, for Christmas. Where tangerine, you know, just get a tangerine. Yeah, but that's true. I think even your parents would be like, we are pretending that we no, are. I've always a got a tangerine family. in the very bottom yeah. of my stocking, always. Really? But you, we never had stockings, you had bin bags. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, bin you didn't bags. have like a big Christmas stocking? Nah, bin bags. Just bin bags. Because we wanted, we, Man, we counted our love through a bin size. Bag. Bin bags. Just a bin bag. A couple of bin bags. Santa Claus isn't one. using a bin bag. <laughs> he is if he's busy. Yeah. So just grab a bin bag out there from under the just sink. Just grab a bin bag for Got these. A billion houses naughty, loot tonight. Naughty shit bags. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Was there any kind of? Was there any kind of? I mean, we should probably do, we'll do Christmas stuff later in the, in the year. But was there mm. any kind of um, punishment for being naughty in your house? What? Do you, what? Getting the bin bag? What do you mean? No, is it like related you, you, to Christmas? Did or your parents ever follow through on the threat to not give you anything? Um, no, never. They wouldn't dare. How dare <laughs> would they? Wouldn't dare, Luke. Why would they? Why would they Why bloody would they? well dare? I, I, I just think that um, there are certain things that were just standard every year and the Guinness World Records, Book of World Records was good, but I presume be Guinness have moved it all online. Why are Guinness even involved? What do you mean, in anything? Why they, yeah, we'll do our own. But I guess you have to kind of like, someone has to be the, the um, check these records, surely. Someone has to sort of get involved. Yeah, but uh, Guinness, Guinness have been involved in the world records hmm. probably ever since we can remember. Hmm. Right. Is it a separate brand to the beer Guinness? Yes, I think it is. Oh, so it's Who's... not related. It's not sponsored. It's not world record sponsored by Guinness. Oh yeah, no, I don't think it is. No, that no, I, I think that's just a. Um, it just happens to be um, the the company. I think that's the case. It would be a weird kind of branding decision for to for you to give you know books about booze to kids advertising. Yeah, who was? Which one was shot at the door by the IRA? I don't know, but I'm, um, I'm just reading here. I've literally got the Guinness World Records website up here, right? right. Uh, listen to this. I'll read you the first top two sentences of their website. Guinness right. World Records, originally Guinness Book of Records, the ultimate authority on record-breaking achievements, started out as an idea for a book of facts to solve arguments in pubs. The idea right. came about in the early 1950s where Sir Hugh Beaver, managing director of the Guinness Brewery, attended a shooting party in ah. County Wexford. There, he and his hosts argued about the fastest game bird in Europe and failed to find an answer in any reference book. Right, okay. So it's like, went... um, it's a 118, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. Basically, it is quite old school, it's isn't it? Because Google's yeah, there quite now, quite old right? school 118. 